niemand so sein, wie es ich gerade bin. Niemand so sein, wie es ich gerade bin. Ihr werdet nie sein, so wie ich. Na, die Bild halt im Dick unterm Tisch. 100 Milliarden, 500 Millionen, 2002 Euro Besitz. Ich habe ein Zimmer zum Geldzählen. Ich habe ein Zimmer zum Stapeln. Ich habe drei Zimmer zum Schlafen. Ich habe zehn Autos zum Parken. Ich habe Bugatti, Ferrari, Ferrari, Versace, 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 ein Ferienhaus auf der Insel von Capri und fliege zum Shoppen mal eben nach Paris und kaufe mir Dinge, die ich gar nicht liebe, doch kauf sie mir einfach, weil ich viel verdiene. Ich mach. What's up, everybody? Dig the Versace scarf. I dig it. Check it. Do up in here. Fantastic. The highest quality scarf I ever felt in my life. Look at this construction. All the frizzes and like all this stuff. That's fantastic. Feels so soft, feels so warm. I'm gonna be rocking this in the winter and my neck's not gonna be freezing anymore because guys last year I had a Tommy Hill figure um, scarf and god damn it didn't work for shit. But this is gonna work for sure. It's thick, it's big, you know, check this out. It's wide. I could do one of these things with it. What's up, people? <laughs> Beautiful. Luxury is my love. Digging the silk pajamas too. Who do you think you're dealing with? Anyway, spotlight of this video is the Tudor Oyster Prince day to day check it, the president well the Rolex it's called the president with the date and day feature but that's big money people check it out Tudor emblem 18 karat gold fluted bezel and this is something I love look at the way it plays with the light check this out Look at the way it dances with the light. That's something that gold really, really pulls off. Check it. See that? And that's what I love about the fluted bezel as well. Ever since I laid my eyes on a Rolex date just, the first time I saw it, I was a kid. I saw it probably on a billboard, and then later on I actually saw it on somebody's wrist in person, like it was a doctor or something. Uh, pediatric doctor or whatever he was rocking the Rolex date just and it just caught my eye it always caught my eye it was it was it was a watch that how should I say it was a watch that was very unique to me and um, it, it sticked out it's like you know you saw people with Timexes and Casios or whatever but this when you see somebody with something like this people and especially in natural daylight because this artificial light that I'm using right now is garbage but if it's in actual sunlight this thing is beautiful it really looks beautiful signed Rolex crown signed Rolex uh, bracelet right here um, but I'll show you guys the Tudor emblem in a second and as you can see here Rolex crown right there and it says original oyster case by Rolex Geneva Okay. And let me just put on my wrist again. Actually, let me give you guys a better close-up. Has the Tudor emblem right there. Let me give you guys a close-up. You have the day right there, Friday, and the 8th. And that's something what I've really been craving in a luxury watch, people. Because I was wearing my um, Oyster, my Rolex Oyster um, Date Precision right here actually put it on the back on the stainless steel its original um, stainless steel bracelet because I think it definitely looks a lot better it, it sticks out more and it just looks more massive because when I had it on the Fluco made in Germany brown a leather strap like it, it made the watch definitely look a bit smaller this way it looks more massive but something that that I struggled with it's like yeah this is a Rolex I love it you know it's my it's my first Rolex and it's always gonna be my pride and joy but something that frustrated me is that I I never remember what fucking day it is you know I could remember the date because I see it here and I'm like okay and maybe I could calculate it in my head but it takes me forever you know but you know sometimes I'm like what day is it? you know what day is it you know I've gotta ask people when filling out forms or whatever whatever oh you know I know the date but what day is it you know <laughs> 
so that's what kind of infuriated me that's why I got the Hamilton the Hamilton uh, Jazz Master day and date with the day and date feature um, that one's I think 40 something millimeters um, because I, I love the Rolex but I wanted something that tells me the date and day okay so now I got the Tudor which I've fallen in love with massively let me give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison here's the Rolex Oyster Date Precision they both have sort of a champagne dial but I feel that the Rolex's one is more sort of refined uh, how should I say classy more elegant looking but you could definitely see the size difference people this is definitely a smaller watch and this is definitely a bit bigger I think this is 35 millimeters this is 34 uh, Rolex date just is 36 I believe and they also have a 38 millimeter but for my wrists right now I've always had skinny wrists but I started working out and gaining um, a good amount of weight so the Rolex Oyster date just kind of especially on the leather strap it just kind of started looking like very small it started looking like a female's watch to be honest with you and it's sort of similar with this band here you see how it gets smaller and everything and it just on my wrist it just kind of looks like a female watch from uh, from a further distance or even up close it just looks too small for my wrist now I'm still gonna wear it it's still my pride and joy you know this is 2k right here um, this one, the Tudor, was over 2K, because it's a day and day, so over 2K, and obviously 18 karat, 18 karat gold bezel, 18 karat gold signed crown, and this bracelet is a jubilee, it's kind of stretched out, it's old, and it's not actual solid gold like the Rolex date just would be with the two-tone whatever, it's usually solid gold links, this one is actually plated. And if you can see that, it's kind of worn out a little bit. Um, Tudor emblem right there. Uh, it's been loved massively by its previous owner. I have the box right here. The box has seen better days as well. Check this out. See this? It's pretty much falling apart. There's some kind of codes on the bottom here. Boom. Then it comes with this plastic Tudor tag, which is hilarious because... Rolex comes with like some sort of special hologram things nowadays, but the older ones had a plastic thingy as well. So I'm happy. I got the original box, the original watch, the original bracelet, everything original for over almost close to 3K, but I have the whole set. You know, there's a lot of people that just buy the watch on its own with a replacement bracelet, aftermarket bracelet, or um, no box, no no tags, no nothing. I got the original box, original watch, original bracelet, everything. So, I'm loving it, people. I'm loving it. This watch screams to me, the '80s people. That's how I feel. Like I feel like, like a mafioso, you know, mafioso, or like um, Wall Street kind of a Wall Street coked out Wall Street um, yuppie, some sort of stuff like that. It just. It, it just screams the 80s people because these these uh, bands uh, watch band bracelets were very popular back in the day it's a, it's an old style you see a lot of older gentlemen wearing this type of stuff and on cheaper watches and even on older watches there was these stretch bracelets and they were mostly all jubilee and they were all stretched they had no clasp or anything they were just cheaply made stretch bracelets and um, that was very popular back then um, but Come on, guys, the 18 karat gold bezel, gold crown, just just this whole watch, you know. It just screams 80s. It screams kind of old money. It screams money to begin with, but it also screams sort of like a, like a, like a, I don't take shit from nobody attitude, you know, which fits my personality, <laughs> to be quite honest. But, um... It also gives off, you know, it could also give off a douchey vibe. A lot of people could say, you know, a younger man wearing this, it looks kind of like a fucking douchebag, whatever, whatever, just kind of like spoiled or kind of douchey or gaudy, flashy, whatever. 
but I'm fucking 25, I'll be 26 soon, like, I feel that a younger gentleman, you know, even under the age of 20, you, you could be 18 and you could rock this, you know, I don't see it as an old gentleman watch, I see it as just class, I see it as elegance, yeah, it screams 80s, you know, but so does this, man, this screams vintage too, this Rolex screams vintage as well, and the Rolex date just they scream vintage as well. Uh, Patrick Bateman, American Psycho, he had the uh, um, tapestry dial, no, the linen or the tapestry dial, whichever one it was, uh, date just with the 18 karat gold uh, fleur de bezel, or I don't know if Rolex is more pure, maybe it's, I don't think it's 24K, I think it's 18K or even 14K, whatever, what have you. Um, and then you had the two-tone bracelet with solid gold uh, links. That just it screams 80s it screams CEO it screams Wall Street you know Wall Street uh, investor Street scre screams kind of like a fucking like a vibe of like look at me I'm important and if you don't look at me I'll take you six feet under that type of stuff you know I'll bury you deep in shit that type of stuff but i love it people now i know boom friday boom eighth luxury fucking luxury i love my hamilton as well you see you probably seen it in a couple of my videos i did a little showcase on it anyway i love my hamilton jazzmaster date date it's a fantastic watch 40 something millimeters fits like you may think it fits big on my wrist but it actually looks pretty good on my wrist uh hamilton this one, but I feel this one is perfection. Like, it fits my wrist very perfectly for now. So, if I gain more weight and I get more muscular or whatever, I'm still going to rock it. I don't give a fuck, you know. So, anyway, guys, peace out.